Hello, and welcome to Credo, the Community Resource Expo delivered online, hosted by the Pasco Sheriff's Office in partnership with the Pasco County Health Department. We are so glad you have joined us for this special community event. By offering this event online, you can safely and conveniently engage in all of this great information. Today, you are gonna hear from several organizations that are committed to helping you during these challenging times. These community-based resources focus on substance use services to help keep you safe and well during this difficult time. We hope you learn a lot during today's expo. We have our community partners are standing by ready to support you. Please don't hesitate to reach out to them during this challenging time. Without further ado, let's hear from some awesome local organizations who are committed to keeping Pasco residents safe, healthy, and thriving. I'm the Community Outreach Coordinator for Rockland Treatment Center. At Rockland, we are a mental health residential two-level program, and we also treat clients with co-occurring disorder. We, we provide a trauma-informed, holistic approach, and also the best evidence-based practices in the field. We focus on the mind, body, soul, and social aspects of the client. During an inpatient stay, which is 28 to 35 days, a client will receive over 100 hours of therapy. Other services that we provide are group, individual, and a family session. When a client is with us, we will intro introduce them to a variety of different recovery tracks, such as AA, NA, and Celebrate Recovery. When a client is approaching discharge, we will sit down and plan out the next best steps for their recovery. We accept Medicaid and most major insurance plans. We provide our clients the opportunity and support needed to build foundation for long-term sobriety. If you have any questions about our residential or outpatient services, please reach out. Let today be the last day that your family member, friend, or loved one has to struggle. North Tampa Behavioral Health is a private psychiatric and substance abuse treatment facility located on the eastern side of Pasco County in Wesley Chapel, Florida. Um, we're just right off, uh, right off State Road 56, just east of Pasco Hernando State College. Um, so we have a beautiful state-of-the-art facility um, that provides specialty treatment for substance use disorder and uh, co-occurring mental health and substance use disorders. And we have programs both in the inpatient and outpatient settings. On the inpatient side, we have a 26 bed unit uh, dedicated to treating uh, substance abuse uh, where we provide structured therapeutic programming and medically assisted detox for our patients. And medically assisted detox is where a physician utilizes medications to safely manage uh, withdrawal symptoms and to provide our patients with a very safe and comfortable detox. Um, in the outpatient setting, we offer a chemical dependency intensive outpatient program where we provide up to 12 hours per week of structured therapeutic programming, really focused on recovery, sobriety, and relapse prevention. So um, addiction is a very serious disease and uh, if, if you or someone you know is, is suffering from addiction, um, it's never too late to get help. Please reach out to someone to get help. North Tampa Behavioral Health is here to help. Uh, we have a team of experienced addiction professionals that are here to help you take your life back and to put you on the road to recovery. But you have to take the first step. You have to reach out. Um, reach out and call us. We offer a free, no-cost assessment. To, to help you or your loved one uh, figure out what the type of treatment that you may need, but you have to reach out. So take the first step, we're here to help. At Anchored in Recovery, our mission is to show the love of Christ. We are a faith-based sober living home for women. We are self-pay with payment options and flexibility. We're not a treatment program, we're a sober living house that promotes a healthy and safe environment for women to recover from drugs and alcohol using the 12-step program and biblical principles. We do have many resources in the community that help women get their lives back and be everything that God intended them to be. Alongside of our mental health and targeted case management services, Christus also provides substance abuse services to children over the age of three years old, adolescents, adults, and families. We provide services throughout the Tampa Bay area and also statewide. We have therapists that are available to come to you in person or via telehealth right now during the crisis. If we can assist in any way, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you. 
Vincent House PASCO is a recovery through work program for individuals with mental health conditions, or what's known as a clubhouse, a restorative community based on dignity and respect, where our members come in and work side by side with staff, build their job skills, work on their resumes, and find employment in the community if that's what they so desire. We're open Monday through Friday from 8 to 4. Our new location is open in Hudson on Denton Avenue with a bus stop right out front. For more information, you can contact us at 727-819-4477 or visit our website at www.vincenthouse.org. Florida Recovery Schools of Tampa Bay actually is opening the first recovery high school in Tampa Bay here in Pasco County. We're going to serve students ages 14 to 19 years old that have a substance use disorder or co-occurring disorder. What does that mean? That actually means we're going to provide a safe, healing-centered environment and provide recovery support as well as free mental health services and an education. It's so important for our young people to know that they're valued and that they're worthy and that they deserve to actually have an education in a sober environment where we have positive peer support and influence with them. Operation PAR, a community service organization located right here in West Central Florida, serving the community since 1970, still here for you. We have services that serve the community regarding substance abuse, mental health issues, as well as prevention intervention. So we provide services for individuals who need detoxification, outpatient services, inpatient residential, and that is for adolescents, children, as well as adults. So if you need a little bit of help, feel free to contact us. We're waiting for your call. Phone number is 1-888-727-6398. Or for more information, contact us at www.operationpar.org. We're here to serve you, the community. Baycare Behavioral Health offers a wide range of substance use and mental health treatment services. We offer individual therapy, group therapy, and psychiatric evaluation and management for adults and youth struggling with mental health issues. We also offer treatment services for substance use across the continuum of care, both community-based and office-based for residential treatment, medication-assisted treatment, intensive outpatient treatment, and care navigation. Our community health activation team can help navigate you to services. We can link you with support groups in the community and help get mentoring for youth. For more information, visit us at baycarebehavioralhealth.org. Turning Point of Tampa is a residential and intensive outpatient treatment provider that's been serving the Tampa Bay area since 1987. We provide treatment for any type of addiction, and we want you to be one of the 23 million people in the United States who's in recovery. Recently, we started an addiction podcast that you can find out more information about at thepointisrecoverypodcast.com. And if you would like more information about Turning Point of Tampa, you can go to tpoftampa.com. The health department is in full support of Pasco County's efforts to fight the opioid crisis. Whether it's services we provide at our clinics, STD, HIV, hepatitis, vaccinations, all those kinds of services. But secondarily, the health department is in full support with our grant funding. We have an epidemiologist that's working full time in understanding why and how come this opioid, continues, opioid crisis continues in our county. Secondly, we're also funding activities in the school system. Opportunities for children to ed be educated on what the opioid crisis might look like and how that may affect them. And lastly, we have a relationship with grant funding going to the sheriff's office and bay care, who are also working towards identifying those who have had overdoses and what they might want to be able to do to get off that line of addiction. The health department and Florida Department of Health is in full support of these efforts and would encourage all our community partners to take a part in fighting the opioid crisis. I'm with Grace House, we distribute Narcan free to anybody in need or family members, or anyone who has been affected by somebody with substance use disorder. Please feel free to reach out at any time via Facebook. You can contact Grace through the website. You can call me, or you can even contact Trinity Church of Christ. We will be glad to assist you in getting Narcan. No questions asked, no ID needed. There is no tracking of the Narcan. Anybody is welcome to have Narcan. Every life matters. 
Alliance for Substance Addiction Prevention, or PASCO ASAP, is a coalition that was founded in 2006 to work on upstream solutions to the addiction epidemic within Pasco County. We also work on policies which help sustain long-term recovery within the county, as well as have a youth coalition called Stand Above the Influence that does all the things that ASAP does as adults, only they're youth advocates within the com community. You can visit empoweredcommunities.org for more information. The Oasis is a 16-bed detox unit. We offer private rooms for our patients to provide a safe and comfortable environment from which to detox from alcohol and drugs. While our patients are in the hospital, we provide group and individual therapy as well as family therapy if needed. We use the principles of 12-step program and smart recovery um, to uh, provide an eclectic uh, approach to their recovery. We provide discharge planning so that our patients will have the best follow-up that they can provide. Our psychiatrist will see you on an individual basis, on a daily basis, while you're in the hospital. The goal of the OASIS is to provide that safe and comfortable environment and provide that first step in your recovery. We are located at Tampa Community Hospital and we accept all major insurances, including Medicare and Medicaid. Spring Gardens Recovery is a dual diagnosis program. We offer detox, residential, and intensive outpatient. Uh, we focus on the holistic approach to addiction, mind, body, and spirit. So we have massage, yoga, acupuncture, but what we focus on more is the trauma. We believe that everybody suffers from trauma one way or another. So if you are struggling with substance use disorder, feel free to reach out to us. Even if we can't help you, we can find someone that can. The Tobacco Prevention Program at the Florida Department of Health offers many free resources for community members who are looking to quit using tobacco products. One of the resources is with our partners at the Area Health Education Centers. They offer free tobacco cessation classes. We also recommend that clientele utilize the Quit Your Way hotline. They also have many different resources. If you have a youth who is using tobacco products or wants to quit using tobacco products, recommend that they join a Students Working Against Tobacco Club at their local school, or check out the Truth Initiative at truthinitiative.org. If you are interested in getting involved, reach out to us to join us at our next tobacco-free partnership meeting the first Monday of every month. Hi, I'm the host of the God Logic Project, where we discuss uh, maintaining a Christian worldview in a post-Christian America. We have a major focus on the recovery community. I have 31 years of continuous recovery myself. I'm a local pastor here in Tampa Bay, Florida. I just wanted to reach out to you guys, let you know that the God Logic Project is there for you. If you need services, we've become a bit of a clearinghouse for local services in Florida and outside of Florida. Uh, you can message me at godlogicproject.com. Uh, if there's anything I can do for you, I have resources throughout the state of Florida that uh, whether you're dealing with chemical addiction, uh, emotional uh, obsession, anything like that, uh, there's services out there that are available for you guys. Feel free to contact me anytime. Pastor Kevin at godlogicproject.com. Uh, if I can't help you, I'll find somebody that can. STAND is a youth coalition helping to stop problems in our community. We believe that STAND has the power to stop these problems. And of course, we have youth advocates to help us. We believe that youth has the power in their voices, and we believe that that will save our county. We are also part of a group called ASAP, which helps stop substance misuse and other such problems in our community. As a, as a group, we like to have meetings. So we have virtual meetings right now, but don't worry because they are all across the county. So if you are anywhere in the county, you can join them now. The problems we believe that we can solve are uh, mental health in classrooms, substance misuse, and other such problems. Join STAND. Hello, I'm Detective Leos with the Pasco Sheriff's Office Behavior Health Intervention Team. I wanna take some time to discuss our overdose initiative. Within 24, to 48 hours, we co-respond with a social worker from Baycare to make contact with a subject who recently overdosed. Once contact is made, we discuss several treatment options, such as cognitive therapy, immediate access to detox, Suboxone Initiative through North Bay, 
medication assisted treatment programs, Narcan leave behind kits, and access to our Freedom 365 app. If a subject agrees to services, we conduct follow-up meetings to ensure they are receiving the proper care and treatment in order to overcome their drug addiction. Thank you for joining us for Credo, the Community Resource Expo delivered online. We hope you learned a lot about local services and resources in our community. More information about each organization can be found at the end of this expo. Please feel free to share this amongst any social media platforms you choose. And from our community partners to you, please stay well and stay in touch with us if we can help you in any way. Thank you and take care.